Shalom, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the new month celebration, the month of Kislev. 平安，弟兄姊妹，欢迎大家来到我们基斯流月新月朔的庆祝仪式。Our Lord wants to celebrate new month with us every month. 每一个月，主都喜欢乐意跟我们一起来庆祝月朔。It's not once a year thing like. Chinese New Year or Christmas or birthday. This is not a once a year thing, like Chinese New Year or Christmas or birthday. This is not a once a year thing, like Chinese New Year or Christmas or birthday. This is not a once a year thing, like Chinese New Year or Christmas or birthday. This is not a once a year thing, like Chinese New Year or Christmas or birthday. This is not a once a year thing, like Chinese New Year or Christmas or birthday. This is not a once a year thing, like Chinese New Year or Christmas or birthday. This is not a once a year thing, like Chinese New Year or Christmas or birthday. This is not a once a year thing, like Chinese New Year or Christmas or birthday. This is not a once a year thing, like Chinese New Year or Christmas or birthday. This is not a once a year thing, like Chinese New Year or Christmas or birthday. This is not a once a year thing, like Chinese New Year or Christmas or birthday. This is not a once a year thing, like Chinese New Year or Christmas or birthday. This is not a once a year thing, like Chinese New Year or Christmas or birthday. 在新的月份当中，让我们带着期盼，知道主要在有新的事情告诉我们，有新的事情要成就。The new breaks old cycle. 新的打破旧有的循环。The, the new brings us from glory to glory. 这个新带着我们荣上加荣。And to receive something new, we need to get rid of the old. 要得着新的东西，我们先要摆脱旧的。We need to move in faith. 我们需要运行在信心里。Remove,、uh, receiving the new is like entering into the unknown. 领受新的就如同要跨进不可知的领域。Where you are in total dependence on God to discover the unknown. 而你完全要依靠上帝来在这未知当中发掘。We are the agent to bring that unknown into existence. 而我们就是上帝使用的管道，将不可知的带进到存在里面。That's faith in action. 这就是信心的行动。So are you ready to celebrate Kislev? 预备好，跟我们一起来庆祝祭祀六月吗？ Are you ready to let go of the old to receive the new? You 愿意放掉旧的，领受新的了吗 ？Are you ready to move in faith to experience the unknown? 预备好，运行在信心里，来进入不可知的领域吗 ？Armies of God, are you ready to war to bring heaven onto earth? 上帝的军队，预备好，来运行，把天带到地上来吗？ So be blessed in this month of Kislev when you put your trust in the Lord. So, 一起来庆祝祭祀六月，当我们来信靠我们的主。Now we have prepared a few things for tonight's celebration. 那为今晚的庆祝，我们预备了一些东西。First up is the release of shofar sound, which is the voice of the Lord. 首先就是要释放号角的声音，那是主的声音。Then there will be worship, some prophetic words or messages. 那之后呢，就有一些敬拜，有一些先知性预言的话语。Of course, there must be a teaching, right? 那当然还会有教导，对不对 ？Then there will be some declaration and sending out sessions. 之后呢，就会有宣告，有差派的时刻。So do prepare your holy communion element ready, as we will do that at the end. 所以，请大家预备好圣餐，因为在末了，我们要一起来领圣餐。Allow me to open the session in a prayer. 让我先开头以祷告开始今晚的聚会。Father Lord, this is the time we come together as one body to celebrate a new month with you. 父神啊，我们如同一个身体来到你面前来庆祝新的月份。We come in joyous heart and praising heart to worship you. 主我们的心团结在一起，单单的来敬拜你。Lord, you are all we have in life. 主，你是我们生命中的一切。Let our praise be worthy and sweet incense to you. 让我们的赞美是配得能升到你面前如馨香的祭。Let our praises goes up and your glory comes down. 我们的赞美升起，愿你荣耀降下。Your presence is with here with us now. Your 同在就在我们当中 Release your strategy for this month of Kislev to advance your kingdom here on earth. 求你释放在基斯流月上帝你的策略，让我们继续在世上扩展你的国度 Speak to each one of us through worship, 
the messages later to know what are the old we need to let go and what are the news to receive. 经由接下来的敬拜，我们分享的信息，主要求你将你的话语释放给你的百姓，让我们知道怎么样放下旧有，领受新的。Jesus always say, "Repent." 耶稣每一次都说，当悔改。He meant change in the way we have been thinking that has been wrong all the time. 它代表的是说，要改变我们过去那些思考的方式，一直都是错误的。So, Lord, help us to shift our mind. 主要帮助我们改变我们的思维。Give us the faith needed to accept the new. 赐给我们所需要的信心来接受新的事物。A new mind, the mind of Christ. 有新的思维是基督的思维。The mind of kingdom, the mind of ecclesia. 有天国的思想，有 ecclesia 的思想。Also, give us the boldness to act on that faith. Rise, your ecclesia, to take dominion on earth in Jesus' name. Amen. Ecclesia, 兴起来治理这地方，耶稣的名，阿门。And so now let's release the shofar sound for this month of Kislev. 所以现在让我们来释放这个月祭司刘玉的号角声。Do listen on what the Lord has to say to you for your household. For your workplace and for your nation, when you hear the shofar sound. When you 听见号角声的时候，仔细聆听上帝对你、对你的全家所要释放的话语跟是信息是什么 ？All right, Nick, let's play the shofar sound. 好，让我们一起来播送在号角吹响。Welcome to the Hebraic month of Kislev for Apostolic Ecclesia Builder Center, Miri Sarawak. Patricia Joshua is going to blow seven shivarim, followed by myself, Aman Atujiku, who is going to blow eight sets of one terwa and one tekia. The seven shivarim represents that we have completed the last season, and that we and our land begin to step into the covenant promises that God has for us, beginning this month. Just as Noah did in Genesis eight and nine, the eight sets of one terwa combined with one tekia, totaling up to sixteen. The meaning for sixteen is an established beginning, building a firm foundation of righteousness, spiritual cleansing, and removing the old for the building of the new. What this means is that we need to build a firm foundation of righteousness in us personally and also for our land territorially. This process involves we and the land going through spiritual cleansing to remove the negative effects of past trauma, so that we and the land can trust and rest and find peace and tranquility in God. The meaning of eight is new birth or beginning, covenant of circumcision, that leads us to consecrate ourselves to God, power, authority, success, destiny, revival, and wealth. What this means is that as we come into a new beginning in our covenant with God, we circumcise, sever the old and unrighteousness off of ourselves and also the land. After that, then we can consecrate, set apart, dedicate ourselves and also our land to God. As we consecrate ourselves and our land to God, we can then begin walking in power and authority in our God-given identity into God's covenant promises for us. And also for the land. As a result, we and our land are able to come into our new beginning and discover and fulfill our God-given purpose and destiny. Amen.
Yahweh. He is holy and right. He is holy and great in splendor. Our God, Yahweh, sovereign King. He is full of wonder. Our God, Yahweh, His matchless power, infinite wisdom. Our God, Yahweh, no one can describe Him or compare to Him. Our God, Yahweh, for Yours is the kingdom. For Yours is the power. Our God, Yahweh, behold.
So Lord, we declare your sovereignty over all the nations of the earth, Father. Let all the nations bow down to the glory of God, to the glory of Yahweh, our King of all kings, the ultimate King of the universe. Every nation shall bow before you, Father. earth be filled with your glory Lord in every tribe every nation in every land shall stand in awe of the glory of God and let your promises flow to every nation of the earth as your glory pours down from heaven to every city, to every nation, to every people, to every tribal group. Let your covenant promises we say yes and amen and we will be fulfilled to your covenant people and your divine timing and will of God and in this month of kiss left I declare every trauma in every nation in every tribe and people group as your glory flows to their land let there be a healing Lord, the healing glory of God. And as they are healed, let them be restored to you, Lord. And come into full alignment with you, Lord. And as they come in alignment with you, Lord, they shall enjoy the fullness of the covenantal blessings that you have for each and every one of them. Jesus name. I just want to declare something. Representing the Chinese and the first people of the land of Sarawak, we release the blessing we release the blessing over all the nations represented on this uh, banner before us. We release the blessing of peace, trust and rest over all the nations during this month of Kislev. Let the Shalom of God go and hover and permeate the sphere of all the nations that are represented on this banner today. We choose to bless these nations. We choose to bless the nations that are here today. May they walk in trust and rest in the Lord. May their eyes be uncovered to know the truth of the one true God. May they be open to the gospel of salvation and the gospel of kingdom. We declare the, the, an open gate over all these nations for the gospel of salvation and the gospel of the kingdom to enter these nations so that they can begin to put their, their trust and rest in the Lord and walk into the covenant promise that God has for them for 5782. Thank you Lord. I saw the head Jesus and then his hands 
open wide like that and then he, he just like embraced all the nation and then I remember the verse that I was meditating yesterday in Colossians 15 it says that from Adam there was death but from Jesus I'm the giver of life so he says that I'm the giver of life nations in time of intensifies war come and rest in me trust in me as I am the one who created all these nations I divided the islands I divided the sea and the parameters I know your ends from the beginning come to me and you will find rest in these times of war they shall be peace in you in your home or within and around your city and in your walls there shall be peace Amen. 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 In the way you get it.
kids left. And months for revelation in warfare strategies, just like rules. They hunt in the pack and their strategy in hunting is always changing according to the situation. Now, what warfare are we speaking of here? In the months of Kislev, it's a warfare to fight against empires and cultures. But first, the warfare has to start in within ourselves. We need to repent and transform our own culture, our own mindset. We need to have kingdom knowledge and understanding before we are able to war against the worldly culture. We need to know our identity in the kingdom before we are able to go to war against the worldly empires. We cannot fight against empires and cultures if we do not know kingdom culture and our identity in the kingdom. You see, our identity has been shaped by the world society. Our understanding of kingdom has been shaped by the environment or the system we live in. If we don't embrace our kingdom identity, if we don't repent of our worldly culture, how then can we be the agent for God to manifest thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven? A simple example. The world will say when you buy gold and silver, you own it. But God says gold and silver are mine. You see, kingdom culture is so different from the worldly culture. And how can we be the ecclesia, so-called a legislative body, when we don't go to Mount Sinai and bring down the kingdom laws to earth? God gave Israelites laws to follow so that there won't be a lawlessness nation, but a nation that reflects kingdom culture. How can we bring an unrighteous or lawless case uh, to the court of heaven when we don't know kingdom culture? A case can only be brought to the court when there's a violation against a law or a culture. God's kingdom culture is different from the world culture. And we don't and when we don't understand kingdom culture and our kingdom identity, we cannot go to war. Shepherd boy David will not be able to fight against Goliath if he had put on the armor and the sword uh, that the world tried to make him as a soldier. He knows his identity in the Lord, and that is a savior at that time. And so he fulfilled their identity to save Israelites from being slaves uh, to Philistines, but more importantly, to save God's name from shame or from being mocked. Shepherd boy David will not be able to fight against Goliath if he had not known his armies uh, was in the battle. Remember, David said, You come against me with a worldly sword, spear, and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defiled. When David was saying, uh, what, no, what David was saying is my armies are not of this world. And these armies are more powerful and are right here, right now, uh, in the battle to defeat you. He understood that his Lord's kingdom is higher than his enemies and all enemies must bow down to his Lord's kingdom. This is the mindset that we should have to tell the world that the kingdom we came from is higher and above than all kingdoms here on earth. Many times we don't establish God's kingdom above the culture in this world. We tend to compromise God's standard because of the lack of knowledge. My man perished for the lack of knowledge in Hosea 4 verse 6. And so truly, we need to shift the way we understand kingdom culture and to embrace our identity in the kingdom if we are to develop warfare strategy for this month. Happy kiss left and God bless. Shalom everyone. My name is Hui Li and I'm from Apostolic Ecclesia Builders. I felt the Lord asked me to share from Psalms chapter 1 verse 8. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the ways of the wicked will perish. I sense that there are some of us who are feeling injustice at our workplace, feeling oppressed, personal challenges, not having breakthroughs, disappointed in our business, seeing the unrighteous being awarded with big fat 
contracts. The rich is getting richer. While we are pondering that we have been faithful, but why are we not seeing the fruits of our labor? Why are we not being rewarded of our faithfulness? The Lord is watching over you. And He is saying, Trust me, trust me, trust me. And I will reward those who are faithful. I saw double rainbows recently and it was really beautiful. And I know that God has not forgotten His promises for us and His covenant for us. So rest in Him and be encouraged. Hi, greetings brother and sister in Christ. For the months of kids left, these are the pictures that I received. Picture number one, I saw a person and then he is covered with covenants, covered in uh, rainbow. And then I asked the Lord, last month is the month of rainbow and this month is the month of rainbow again. And then the Lord says that when you come out from Rosh Hashanah, the month after that is a month of rainbow the Noah and the rainbow and also this month is the you know, month of rainbow again why because when I speak twice I want you to pay attention because I want to confirm my covenant promise for you and in this month I want you to begin to be active in this covenant promise and want to push out every mistrust and the Lord says that everything that um, we have our own carnal understanding is repelling His covenant to us. It's like we have mistrust. We cannot really rest and walk with Him to flow with Him in His covenant. This also led to picture number two that I saw. The picture number two that I saw is a tree that presents individual person three and then the root and then the lord said last month i deal with the root issue but now i want to deal what is within that tree and then i saw the words emotions and mindset and the picture number three i saw is uh we are flowing in the river of god and then the lord says that when we see and we hear what he is doing we are able to speak what he says. When we speak his word, it is like an arrow coming out of our mouth and we are flowing swiftly with the flow of the Holy Spirit in his river. Even though the river is flowing very fast or very slow, we are able to move with the Lord swiftly according to his strategy and according to his direction. And also, I also see, the, as I was meditating on this word's covenant, I also see the words about dominion rest, dominion rest. Dominion rest, it means that we are entering into the sphere and the calling that God has for us in this season. So, I, I, I know, I, when I see into it, I understand what the Lord is saying. He is saying that in this man i want to begin to manifest i want you to begin to manifest my cover and occupy your dominions with trust and rest during the time of war god bless happy kiss left greetings everyone welcome to the month of kiss left uh, first and foremost i want to apologize for some of the technical difficulties earlier on 首先,刚刚我们面对到一些这种机器,这种设定的一些问题,先跟大家道歉. But we strive to do our best for the Lord. 但我们真的要尽全力为我们的主做到最好. So now, without further ado, let's go into the teaching. 所以现在呢,我们就直接进入到教导里面了. Uh, before we go into the teaching, let's put your hand on your, on your heart here. 可是正开始教导之前,先把你的手按在心上。uh, repeat after me, Lord. I open my heart and my mind. To receive all that you have for me today. Uh, I choose to be sensitive to your voice. And even though I have not heard your voice before, or that I do not know that it was you speaking. Today I choose to hear in a new way. I choose to open up all my senses to Holy Spirit. 
。我选择向圣灵打开我一切的感官。And as I walk into His life, 让当我走进到祭司流月 ，Let me walk in a new way. 让我走进全新的人生。Hear you in a new way. 全新的听见你声音。And see you in a new way. 全新的看见你。This time is an anointed time for me. 对我来说，这是受恩膏的时刻。And I will be blessed at the end of this session. 整堂结束，我必要蒙福。I will receive keys that I need for the month of Kislev. 我能得着领受我需要的钥匙，进入祭司流月。I believe, Lord. 主要我相信。In Jesus' name, I pray. 奉耶稣的名祷告 ，Amen, Amen, Amen, Amen. Fantastic. Let's move on to the teaching. 好，我们现在进入教导了。So let's look at the month of Kislev. 我们来看看祭祀流月。So the month of Kislev is twenty-nine to thirty days. 祭祀流月呢，可以算二十九或者是三十天。It's from sundown the fourth of November to fourth of December two thousand twenty-one. This from 2021 February fourth to February fourth of December two thousand twenty-one. Some people will say that it starts on the fifth of November. Some people will say that it starts on the fifth of November. Some people will say that it starts on the fifth of November. Some people will say that it starts on the fifth of November. Some people will say that it starts on the fifth of November. Some people will say that it starts on the fifth of November. Some people will say that it starts on the fifth of November. Some people will say that it starts on the fifth of November. Some people will say that it starts on the fifth of November. Some people will say that it starts on the fifth of November. Some people will say that it starts on the fifth of November. Some people will say that it starts on the fifth of November. Some people will say that it starts on the fifth of November. Some people will say that it starts on the fifth of November. Some people That's right. So the the Hebraic alphabet related to Kislev is ah、uh, Samek. 而跟祭司流月相对应的希伯来字母是 Shamek 这个字 ，which is a full circle. 它的意思是完整的循环。The tribe related to the month of Kislev is Benjamin. 跟祭司流月相呼应的支派是便雅悯支派。And Benjamin is the most gifted with the art of the bow. 而便雅悯是拉弓射箭最有技巧的人。And he was the only child born in the promised land, so we need to watch Israel this month. 那他是唯一一个在应许之地生的孩子，所以这个月我们要来看到以色列。That's right. And so, uh, the feast related to Kislev is Hanukkah. 而跟这次六月相关的节期呢，就是光明节 Hanukkah。And this year, Hanukkah is from the twenty-eighth of November to the sixth of December. 而今年光明节呢是十一月二十八号到十二月六号。So the key characteristics of this month it is a month to develop warfare strategy. So we we have prophetic revelation for war. 那这个月的特征就是要发展出战略的一个月，所以我们会领受到先知性的启示是关乎战争的。And it's also a month to enter a new level of trust and rest. This month is also to enter a new level of trust and rest. This month is also to enter a new level of trust and rest. This month is also to enter a new level of trust and rest. This month is also to enter a new level of trust and rest. This month is also to enter a new level of trust and rest. This month is also to enter a new level of trust and rest. This month is also to enter a new level of trust and rest. This month is also to enter a new level of trust and rest. This month is also to enter a new level of trust and rest. Now the constellation or the star related to this month is Sagittarius. 而这个月份相关的星座是射手座。Why do we look at the constellation? 为什么要看天上的星座啊 ？We are not、uh, looking at it from an astrology point of view. 我们不是从那种占星的角度来看星座的。We are looking at it from an astronomical point of view. 反而我们是从天象的角度来看待星座 ，because in the olden days they did not have calendars. 因为你了解啊，在古代他们是没有月历的 ，so they see the formation in the sky. 他们看到是天上的星象 ，so when the formation of Sagittarius in the sky was formed， 而天上射手座的形象形成的时候 ，they know that we uh the people knew that we have entered the month of Kislev. 大家就知道我们要进入到祭祀流月了。The color stone related to this month is multicolor like rainbow or opal. 那这个月份色彩和石头呢，就是七彩多彩的，像是彩虹
或者是蛋白食。That's right. So Isaiah 66 verse 23 tells us, from new moon to new moon and from Sabbath to Sabbath, all flesh shall come to worship before me, declares the Lord. 以赛亚书六十六章二十三节讲的，每逢月朔、安息日，凡有血气的必来在我面前下拜，这是耶和华说的。And so this is an instruction from the Lord. 这从主而来的指示。And so we must obey. 我们必须要遵循的。That's right. Let's move on. Now, where are we? Ah,、uh, in the Hebraic calendar. 那我们在希伯来这个年历当中到底处到哪儿了呢？ We have just left Shavuot, and now we are in the ninth month of the Jewish or Hebraic calendar. 那我们刚刚离开马西半月，现在来到了希伯来年历当中的第九个月了。That's right. And so,、um, God has given His people a detailed month and yearly cycle of events, which is His biblical calendar. And this is for the Jews and the Christians because we have been grafted into the Abrahamic covenant. 上帝赐给他百姓非常详尽的月份，有每一年这样循环的事件，这是他圣经真理当中的月份。而这个是给犹太人，也是给基督徒的，因为我们是插枝进入到亚伯拉罕的应许当中。And so the Hebrew calendar is that, uh, the Hebrew calendar is a prophetic calendar, and the letters and words. Tells us what Holy Spirit is saying. 有一点要明白，希伯来历法是一种先知性的历法，在里面的字母跟数字的文字呢，都是在告诉我们圣灵要说什么。That's right. And so let's go into the month of Kislev. What is the month of Kislev about? 那我们就仔细来看看基斯流月，到底基斯流月要讲的是什么呢 ？So the root word. Uh, I mean, the the for Kislev, right? The root word is hope or trust in the Hebrew language. Kislev, 它这个字在希伯来语文当中字根是盼望或是信靠的意思。So the Hebrew word kesel is often translated as hope, but also refers to the innermost part of our bowels or kidney of mankind. 希伯来字 “kesel” 这个字常常会翻译成为盼望，可是它指的也是一个人里面心肠深处最深的地方，甚至有点像我们的肾脏的位置。So when we hear the word “kesel” or hope or trust, it refers to something actively,、uh, I mean, a deep level of trust, active trust in us. 而当我们听到 Kesel 这种盼望或是信靠，讲的是我们心底深处非常活跃的一种信靠。It is the kind of trust and hope that comes from deep within. 这种信靠，这种盼望是从心底深处发出的。So this is the month we need to enter into a new level of trust and rest in the Lord. 因此，这个月份是我们要在主的里面进入到全新领域的信靠和安息的月份。So tell your neighbor new level of trust and rest in the Lord. 跟旁边的说，在主里有全新程度的信靠与安息。So the next slide is this: How are we to enter into a new level of trust and rest? 那这样怎么样进入到全新领域的信靠与安息呢？ So the name Kislev is derived from the Hebrew word for security and trust. Kislev 这个名字，这个月份的名字是从希伯来字的安全感和信靠分支而出的。This is a month to enter into, like I said, new level of trust and rest. 就像我刚刚讲，这个月份是要进入到全新领域的信靠和安息呀。And so. The key words related to this month is security, trust, and rest. So, this month's key words are safety, trust, and rest. Security means being free from danger or threat that you feel safe and secure. And this safety means being free from danger or threat that you feel safe and secure. And this safety means being free from danger or threat that you feel safe and secure. 
and that that person is reliable. 而信靠是你非常坚信这个人是值得信任的。Rest means you stop work or movement in order to relax, sleep, or recover strength. 而安息代表你不用再工作、再动作，好让你能够放松、睡眠或是恢复体力。That's right. And so, if we look at the the Hebrew letter, I mean, if you look at Kislev. We are reminded of the Hebrew letter Samek. If we look at the Hebrew letter Samek, we are reminded of the Hebrew letter Samek. If we look at the Hebrew letter Samek, we are reminded of the Hebrew letter Samek. If we look at the Hebrew letter Samek, we are reminded of the Hebrew letter Samek. If we look at the Hebrew letter Samek, we are reminded of the Hebrew letter Samek. If we look at the Hebrew letter Samek, we are reminded of the Hebrew letter Samek. 因此，这个月份，当我们在发展我们的信靠跟自信的时候，应该进入到完整的循环里头。So samek also means to lean upon or to support. Samek 它的意思也是依靠或支持的意思。And it is always reassuring to have someone we can trust to lean on when the days are growing very dark. 而这每一次是要来让我们有这样的确据。当日子逐渐黑暗的时候，我们是有人可以来依靠的。Let's look at Samek's meaning even more. 我们更深入来看看 Samek 的含义。Okay, look to your right hand side. Samek means a circle. 我们从右边开始看呢。Samek is 代表循环。So it means trust, rest, support, full circle. 它的含义是信靠，是安息，是支持，是完整的循环。Samek also can mean a repeating cycle. Samek 含义也代表重复的循环。And so you need to beware because if we go in the same old cycle, we cannot break into the new. 在这里要留意哦，如果你是重复过去旧的循环，你就不能够突破进入到新的里面。That's right. And samek also means to surround. 而 samek 的含义也代表环绕、围绕。And we must remember Jesus is our samek who surrounds us with His protection. 我们绝对不要忘记耶稣就是我们的 samek， 他以保护来不断的围绕我们。And samek also means to protect. Samek 的含义也代表保护。This means we trust in the Lord our God as our protector. 代表我们信靠主我们的神，他是保护我们的。Let's look at、uh, the definition of samek in protect. 我们单从保护这个角度来看看 samek 的定义。You know, Psalms 125 verse 2 says, "As the mountain surrounds Jerusalem." So the Lord surrounds His people both now and forevermore. 诗篇一百二十五篇第二节说，众山怎样围绕耶路撒冷，耶和华也照样围绕他的百姓，从今时直到永远。So tell your neighbor, Jesus surrounds you. You do not need to be afraid. 跟旁边的朋友说，耶稣围绕着你，你不需要害怕。That's right. And so, when we look at Samek, also, and and we remember it is to protect,、um, we remember the ironic blessings. When we understand Samek means protect, it will constantly remind us of the blessings of Yahran. And every one of us knows this beautiful ironic blessing in Numbers six verse twenty three to twenty six. It says, "The Lord bless you and keep you, protect you, sustain you, and guard you." The Lord make His face shine upon you with favor and be gracious to you, surrounding you with loving kindness. The Lord lift up His countenance, His face upon you with divine approval and give you peace, a tranquil heart and life. 在民数记六章二十三到二十五节，二十六节，这里是很著名的亚兰的祝福。在这里他说，耶和华赐福给你。保护你，就是保护、支持、保护、爱护你。耶和华使他的脸以恩惠光照你，并施恩给你，以慈爱围绕你。主以神的赞许向你扬脸，赐你平安、平静的心和生活。So remember, samek means to protect, 
to keep. 所以记得 submit 的意思就是保护，这是保守的意思。That's right. And so when we see the word keep in Hebrew, it is the word for thorn or shamir, which begins with a samek. It is from the root word shama, which literally means to guard, to protect. 当我们讲到保守这个字啊，它在希伯来文里面，它这个字的意思是荆棘 ，samir。这个字一开头就是从从一个 sama 开始的，它形成它的字根 shama， 它字面的含义就是指引保护的意思。And so we also remember that um that the crown of thorns that was you know on Jesus's head, it was in the shape of a shama. 不禁就让我们想起了当时戴在耶稣头上那个荆棘冠冕，它那个形状就跟字母 shamek 的形状是一样的。And when we remember this crown of thorns, we re it reminds us that、uh, the good shepherd's protection around us and warning us to guard our mind and also our thought life. 所以想到这荆棘冠冕。就想到我们的好牧人，他怎么样的保护我们，同时也警告我们要保守我们的心思意念。那 ，and it's very important in、um, in these uh uh times to come because we are in COVID nineteen, and so we must guard our mind and our thought life so that we don't go into fear. 这对于我们现在处在新冠疫情当中的非常非常重要，真的要懂得怎么样保守自己的心思，知道保守自己的想法，让我们不至于落到恐惧里面。That's right, and so that's why Romans chapter twelve verse two tells us: Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of our mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God. Which is good and acceptable and perfect. 这是为什么罗马书十二章二节说的，不要效法这个世界，只要心意更新而变化，叫你们借着试验查验何为神的善良、纯全和喜悦的旨意。So let's look at um uh the definition of uh keep in more detail again. 我们再次更详细、深入的来看一看这个保守的含义。You know the Hebrews were nomads last time who raised livestock, and if the shepherd stayed with his flock outside the camp at night, he would construct a coral of thorn bushes as a hedge of protection around his flock and keep them safe. You know, ancient Hebrews, they were nomads. 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 牧羊人呢，晚上会在耕田深处一起在外面度夜。这个时候，他就会筑起这样羊圈的墙，是这种荆棘编起的围篱，好保护他们羊群晚上的安全。So this month, when you think of Samak, you think of the hedge of protection of Jesus that is around you to keep you safe. 所以这个月份，当你想到 Samak 的时候，你想到在周遭有着荆棘编起的整个羊圈的围篱，是耶稣要来保护你平安的。And also keep your family safe, your business safe, your ministry safe. 也是要保守你的家庭平安，保守你的生意平安，保守你的施工平安。That's right. And so we remember Jesus is our good shepherd. He would guide us into the sheep. Pen or the sheep gate, and encircle the top of the surrounding wall with thorns to keep the predators out, and watch at the open gate to ensure nothing can enter and nothing can exit without his attention and permission. So here, it not only brings us to remember Jesus, he is our good shepherd. He will guide us into the sheep pen, into the sheep gate, and encircle the top of the surrounding wall with thorns to keep the predators out, and nothing can enter and nothing can exit without his attention and permission. So here, it not only brings us to 安排我们，让我们在当中完全被围绕，保守我们平安，也同时留意到羊圈的出口，注意到没有任何人可以出去或进来，是没有经过他许可，是绝不可能就做到的。So you must remember this month of Kislev. When you think about Samak, you know that nothing can enter or exit your home or your business without God's permission and attention. 所以，我们知道，当我们进入到这个祭司流月 ，summit 这个字代表
，如果没有上帝的许可，没有任何东西能够进入到你的生命或你的家庭，也没有任何东西能够出去的。That's right. So John chapter ten verse seven to ten tells us, then Jesus said unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enters in, he shall be safe and shall go in and out and find pasture, provision. The thief comes uh, cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might live, have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. 在约翰福音第十章七到十节，耶稣说的。耶稣对他们说：“我实实在在的告诉你们，我是羊的门。从前来过的都是小偷和强盗，但羊不听。我就是门，凭着我人进去，就必得救，出入得草吃。盗贼来，为要偷窃、杀害、毁坏。我来是要让他们得生命，并且得得更丰盛。” That's right. So when you think about the Samek, this, ah,、uh, this Kislev, you must remember that you are saved. So this month, Kislev, when you think about Samek, this word, you must remember that you are saved. And Jesus is your provision. Jesus is your provision. And Jesus is your provision. Jesus is your provision. And Jesus is your provision. Jesus is your provision. And Jesus is your provision. Jesus is your provision. And Jesus is your provision. Jesus is your provision. Jesus is your provision. And Jesus is your provision. Jesus is your provision. And Jesus is your provision. So, you see, when we when we look at the letter Samek, it is to protect, and we remember the sheep gate. When we see the letter Samek, we think it is to protect, because it reminds us of the sheep gate. So we must remember Jesus is our sheep gate who protects and provides for us. We must not forget Jesus is our sheep gate who protects and provides for us. That's right. Let's move on. And so,、um, when we think about Samek, we also see this picture before us. When we think about Samek, this letter, we also see this picture before us. And so, this,、uh, this picture that is before us, right, is when,、uh, when we are fully submitted to the Lord, and then we have the support of God, then a miracle comes. 看到这个图画，当我们完全全然降服于主，也得到主的支持之后，你就会看见神机要临到。And so this is a month we must remember to humble ourselves and submit to God. 这个月份就是我们要记得谦卑自己，降服神的月份。It's represented by the Hebrew letter Nun. 而这个的象征就是希伯来这个字母叫 Nun。And when we are humbled and submitted to God, God gives us support when we put our trust in Him. When we are humbled and submitted to God, God gives us support when we put our trust in Him. When we are humbled and submitted to God, God gives us support when we put our trust in Him. When we are humbled and submitted to God, God gives us support when we put our trust in Him. When we are humbled and submitted to God, God gives us support when we put our trust in Him. When we are humbled That's right. So let's move on.、No? So what are the keys for us this month? 那这个月份当中有哪些关键的钥匙给我们呢 ？We need to examine our heart and motives during Kislev. Every year we need to do that. 每一年来到祭祀六月，我们一定要审查自个儿的心和动机。This is to ensure that we break up and out of all patterns of mistrust that hinder our walk with the Lord and also with others in our circle of influence. That 在这里，希望我们能够打破、突破旧有那些不信任的模式，因为这样的模式会拦阻我们跟上帝同行的路，也会拦阻在我们影响范围当中跟其他人同行的路。I find it very interesting that God wants to deal with mistrust this month. 很有意思啊、哦！我发现上帝要在这个月份特别处理不信任。But I find it is so powerful because when we deal with mistrust, we can begin to walk into security. 但我发现这非常大能。一旦处理了不信任之后，我们就能够行在安全之中。Because we need to move in trust and rest and support. 
in order for us to prosper in the months ahead. If we don't break out of these old patterns of mistrust, we find that we keep move, we move forward and then we keep going back and move forward and keep going back. That's right. And so see again. Okay. Um, we need to ask the Lord to help us to grow in love, security, and trust in Him so that we can enter into a new level of trust and rest. And that fulfills the first covenant, the first commandment, sorry. And you know, when we grow deeper in love and become secure in the Lord, we can begin to walk in love and trust at a deeper level with others. 你知道当我们在爱里面成长的更深入，而且在主里越加有安全感的时候，我们开始也能够带着爱和信靠，在更深的程度跟别人一起同行。And this fulfills the second commandment. 而这个就成就了第二条诫命。So when these two things begin to manifest, we can declare that we come. We begin to declare that we come into a summit. A full circle, and we break forth into the new. 而当这两项都已经达成之后，我们才能够宣告说，我已经进入到三麦这个完整的循环，能够突破进到全新的里面。Okay, let's move on. Now. Okay, that one is done. Sorry. Oops, sorry for the technical difficulty. Give me a moment. <laughs> okay, so we got to examine what we have walked through in the past year to come into a place of peace. Then there are certain things every year that you want to make a spiritual locator and say, I'm not going to go through that again. Yeah, this is a negative repeating cycle. I give you a testimony. There was uh, once, uh, for a couple of years, I, I keep on having very uh, strong coughs, you know, very hard coughs. You know, and it always happens around the month of September or October. Every year around about that time, right, I will go into this cough and I will cough until my lung wants to come out. 哇,每一年碰到这个时间的时候呢,我就咳得不得了,咳得好像那个肺都要咳出来似的。And and I will cough until um, it was so hard uh, that I feel pain in my chest. 哇,咳得非常非常严重,我的胸部这边都有疼痛的感觉了。So maybe many of you can relate to what I'm talking about. 很多人可能可以理解我在说什么。and then, you know, there's a doctor here in Miri. I used to go to him and I will ask him to give me a jab on my hand. Every time I go to him, it will cost me 300 to 400 ringgit. Yeah, that's about uh, 600 to 800 China dollars. Uh, China Dollars, I think. No, Yeah. And after that, I will feel a bit more better. Then one day the Lord asked me, 
Why don't you ask me for healing in this area? 有一天呢，主就突然问我，你为什么在这个方面不跟我求医治呢？ Sometimes、uh, it's very easy to tell someone else, but when you are going through it yourself, ah,、uh, you think two times, three times, ten times. <laughs> 有的时候你跟人家讲很容易，可你自个儿亲身经历是哇，你想了五六七八九十次的。That's right. But you know what? I decided that enough is enough. I'm not going to spend that much money, that amount of money anymore. So I I decided to go by faith. 所以那个时候我决定够了，就是够了，我不要再花这么多钱，老是去打针了。所以我决定凭信心而活。So I started to change. Uh, I started to take uh supplements dealing with with the with the with the cough. 那我就开始吃一些这种营养保健品，这些是帮助我清肺的。But I also started to declare and started to sow for healing from that cough. 那同时间，我也开始宣告，也为了自己这个咳嗽得医治来撒种。Not only healing, ah, but to break the cycle. 不光是得医治哦，还要打破整个循环。That's right. And you know what? After a couple of months, after a couple of months of doing that, I start to notice coming the next year. Ah,、uh, I start to feel. You know, I was expecting the the cough to come, but it didn't come. 可是你知道我这样做了几个月之后，到了第二年呢，时间差不多的时候，我在想说，哎，应该开始咳了吧？哎，竟然没有哦。Yeah, and so I thought this is very strange. 我在想不对劲儿嘞。But then so I waited the next month and the next month it did come. 我又等了一个月再一个月，还是没咳啊。I did feel a bit of itch on my chair, uh, in my throat, but I did not cough as bad as. I used to cough in the few years before. 还是偶尔这个胸部或者喉咙这儿有点痒痒的想咳嗽，可是没有再像过去几年咳的那样撕心裂肺的了。So my encouragement to you is that, um, you have to, uh, set, you know, you have to, uh, make a spiritual locator and say that I am not going through that again. 我要跟你分享什么？你自己要做这种属灵的定位。你说这个事儿，我再也不要经历了。This is a month you can break that repeating cycle. 而这个月份就是你可以打破这种重复循环的时候。And so I release a word over the over the atmosphere right now. 现在我要对着空中的氛围分释放出这样的话语。That whoever that's going through a negative repeating cycle, God will give you a revelation to know how to break that repeating negative cycle. 有任何人你正在经历这种负面循环的时候，主要赐给你启示，让你知道怎么样打破所有这些负面循环，不要再继续。And I declare over you that you are not going through that again. 我要为你宣告，你再也不会经历它了。Amen. Amen. 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 Okay, so last month Cheswan was the month of the flood, and Kislev this month is the month of the rainbow. 上个月马戏班月是洪水的月份，而这个月祭祀流月呢就是彩虹的月份了。That's right. So the keys for us is that God makes a covenant with us so that we will not have to war with those things again. That's why it's symbolized by the rainbow. 那这个月份的关键要是什么？上帝跟我们立约，让我们不至于在经由战争，在这个当中不断的征战了。所以整个的象征就是天上的彩虹。So God wants to be our support. 上帝要来做我们的支持。So we need to abide and lean upon Him and trust in Him with our future. Even if the future looks dark or uncertain to us, so in here, we really need to rely on him, rely on him, all the future is given to him, even though the future seems a bit dark, very uncertain. Psalm 139 verse 12 says, "Even the darkness, even the darkness, is not too dark for you. Night is as bright as day. Darkness and light are the same to you." 诗篇一百三九篇十二节怎么说？黑暗也不能遮蔽我，使你不见。黑夜却如白昼发亮，黑暗和光明在你看都是一样。So when you remember Samak, ah,、uh, this month, remember that God wants to be your support. 
。所以这个月份，你记得 ，Samik， 你要记得，上帝要来做你的支持。He wants to be your security. 他要来做你的安全感。He wants you to come into full circle. 他希望你能够走完这完整的循环。That's right. And so trust and rest is one element to the covenant that we have with God. 而信靠与安息就是我们跟上帝立约当中其中的一个成分。That's right. So let's look at the tribe of Benjamin, which is the tribe related to the month of Kislev. 跟祭司流月相关的支派就是便雅悯支派，所以我们现在要来看这个了。And when when we go through the tribe of Benjamin, you will realize that、um, God wants、uh, you to rise up in your covenant identity. When we talk about the Benjamin tribe, 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 when we talk about 他希望你能够行在这能力和权柄之下 ，and that you will receive prophetic revelation for war， 让你领受这先知性的启示来征战。That's right. So where is Benjamin in in the in the generational line over here？ 那在这里到底便雅悯在雅各他们家族当中他的位置放在哪儿呢 ？So as we know, Benjamin is the son of Rachel. 我们大家知道，便雅悯是拉杰生的儿子。And so Kislev is linked to the tribe of Benjamin, who was Jacob's second son born to Rachel. 基斯流月是跟便雅悯支派有关，而便雅悯是拉杰为雅各生的第二个儿子。And Genesis chapter thirty-five, verse seventeen to eighteen says, when Benjamin was born, his mother, his mother in her dying bed. Named him Ben Oni, which means son of my sorrow. 而创世纪三十五章十七十八节那个时候，便雅悯要出生，他的母亲因为产难快要死了，临死之前给这个孩子取名叫便厄尼，他代表是我痛苦忧伤的孩子。That's right. But Jacob renamed him Benjamin, which means son of my right hand or son of strength. 但雅各把他改名叫便雅悯，他的意思是我右手之子，或是力量之子的意思。The right hand is the seat of power. 这右手是权力的位置。The son of the right hand is therefore the child of power. 因此，右手之子就是大有能力之子。Declare over yourself, I am the son. I am a child of power. 所以为自己宣告说，我是有权势之子。Amen. Amen. Now, through Christ's finished work, you are seated with Christ at the right hand of God. 经由基督已经完成的工作，现在你跟基督一起坐在父神的右手边。That is your covenant identity. 这就是你盟约里面的身份。And it is a place of love, power, and authority. 而这也是一个充满爱。有能力和权柄之处。Let's take a look at this further, huh? 我们更进一步来看这个。And so when we look at Benjamin, Benjamin was loved by his father Jacob. 仔细看到便雅悯，他是他的父亲非常疼爱的儿子。He、was loved by his brother Joseph. 也是他哥哥约瑟疼爱的弟弟。And he was loved by his brother Judah. 也是他兄弟犹大这个哥哥爱的。It was loved by his other brothers. 其他的哥哥们也都很爱他。And also loved by the Lord. 同时，他也是主所爱的。And so the key for us to remember here is this. 所以这儿我们需要记得的一个关键就是。Benjamin was loved and protected. So this month, you should know that you are protected and greatly loved. Benjamin is protected, is under protection. This month, you should know that you are protected and greatly loved. Benjamin is under protection, is under protection. This month, you should know that you are protected and greatly loved. This month, you should know that you are protected and greatly loved. This month, you should know that you are protected and greatly loved. 
。所以，如果这个月份仇敌在你耳朵旁边敲声说：“哎呀，你很失败呀，哎呀，你很孤单，没有人理你啊。”你说不，我是受到保护的，我是极为蒙宠爱的。Amen, amen, amen. So the key for us in this month, you will arise in your identity as the son of the right hand. Know that you are son of power. So, in this month, in talking about your identity, you really can feel full of confidence and say, "I am the son of the right hand, the one who has the power to rule the world." That is your kingdom identity. This is your kingdom identity. And no one can take it from you. This is your kingdom identity. And no one can take it from you. But you have to accept it and begin to walk in it. But you have to accept it and begin to walk in it. But you have to accept it and begin to walk in it. But you have to accept it and begin to walk in it. But you have to accept it and begin to walk in it. But you have to accept it and begin to walk in it. But you have to accept it and begin to walk in it. But you have to accept it and begin to walk in it. But you have to accept it and begin to walk in it. But you have to accept it and begin to walk in it. But you have to accept it and begin to walk in it. But you have to accept it and begin to walk in it. But you have to accept it and begin to walk in it. But you have to accept it and begin to walk in it. But you have to accept it and begin to walk in it. But you have to accept it and begin to walk in it. But you have to accept it and begin to walk in it. But you have to accept it and begin to walk in it. But you have to accept it and begin to walk in it. But you have to accept it and begin to walk in it. 打败仇敌是带着你的肯定、自信，并且王人全没有惧怕，而且能够兴旺的。And so when God gives you an assignment, you won't say, "No, no, no, God, I can't do this. I, I'm so afraid of it." 所以如果主给你任何的使命任务，你不会说，哎呀，不行不行了，我很害怕。你不会的。No, because this is your kingdom identity. 不，因为这是你在天国里的身份。You are deeply loved and protected. You 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 are deeply loved and protected. 因此，你上帝要释放你进入到全新的身份当中，坚固你，能够带出这种先知性的应许在你生命里，同时将你的痛苦转为喜乐。That's right. And so there will also be a new realization of the spirit realm, where you will experience supernatural activity to catapult or launch you into the prophetic destiny that you have received over your life. 因此，你全新的理解，在这个属灵的领域当中，你可以经历到超自然的活动，能够真正得着，同时好像发送你出去，进入到你先知性的命定，这是在你生命当中以前曾经领受过的。If you expect it in your heart, it will happen. 你只要心中带着期待，你必要看见这样的事情发生。That's right. And God will trust you into the right place. In the right time frame, resulting in His promise connecting, intersecting, and releasing increase over your life. 而上帝会把你在正确的时间带进到正确的地点里面，其结果是他的应许，让你能够连接跟所有上帝释放在你生命当中不断增添的事情，不断的增加。Amen. Amen. This will be all you need to birth and create new things. Will be attracted also to you. 而这是你一切所需要能够诞生、创造的新事物，都会受到你的吸引而来。Are you ready to walk into this realm? 你预备好走进到这样的领域吗 ？Kiss Left is prepared, has prepared these things for you to enjoy and to walk into. 基斯刘月就已经为你预备好这一切，让你能够行在其中，享受他们。Therefore, put your hope in the Lord. 因此，将你的盼望放在上帝里面。And you will not be disappointed. 你绝不至于失失望的。Amen. Amen. Amen. And you know what? Benjamin was the last son of the twelfth tribe, and the nation of Israel was complete. Benjamin was a completer. 而便雅悯是十二支派当中最后最小的一个儿子。换句话说，以色列国到了便雅悯之后就完全完整了。便雅悯就是使一切完全的人。So declare over yourself right now. 所以现在为自己做这样的宣告。Lord, I am a completer. 主啊，我是完整的人。This is my kingdom identity. 
这是我在天国里的身份, cause me to be excellent. In the assignments and uh, to steward your things. 在你赐给我做管家的任务上头, I will do exceedingly well. 我能够做得非常优秀, and give glory to your name. 这样能荣耀主你的名, In Jesus' name, Amen. Feng Yesu de Ming, Amen. Amen, Amen. Amen. And so, sorry, sorry. Benjamin was the only son, it was the only one of the 12 sons that was born in the land of Israel. So this is the month we need to watch Israel. Things will happen that will change its course. 而便雅敏是在十二个孩子当中唯一一个回到以色列地上出生的孩子，所以这个月份也是我们要观察以色列的时候，因为在这个当中会有事情发生，你会看见整个方向改变。That's right. So you know, Kislev is also the month to develop warfare strategies. 基斯流月也是来发展战略的一个月份。And when we take a look at this. Um, it is to develop our warfare strategies so that we have prophetic revelation for war. So Chesvan last month was the month that we focus on a new anointing. But in Kislev, we press in for prophetic revelation and strategies. 可是在祭司流月,我们要努力的是得着先知性的启示和策略。That's right. And so Benjamin was the most tranquil inner spirit, was the most tranquil in inner spirit, and the most gifted with the bow, which can also represent prophetic strategy. Benjamin, 他在内在属灵生命当中最为平静的一个人，同时他也使用弓箭上头最有天赋恩赐的人，这也代表象征了先知性的策略。Benjamin's talent and prowess, prowess is skill and bravery, yeah, with a bow, gave him the ability to shoot and hit his target, but it depended on a tranquil spirit. 你要知道便雅敏他的才华，还有他使用弓箭这样的实力，就是他的技巧和勇气呢，是让他有能力能够一拉弓就射中他的目标。可他依靠是内在平静的心灵。The tranquil inner spirit is a spirit that is, um, that is focused but calm and fo uh, focus and calm. Sorry. 这种宁静的心灵是他有这样的决心，但里头是非常的专注，又同时非常的和平的。That's right. And so, in the month of Kislev, that in in the midst of the warfare, our tranquil inner spirit is very important to position ourselves to receive prophetic revelation and strategies for warfare in this season, because we must shoot straight, direct at the enemy, and move quickly. 所以在祭司流月，在各样的征战当中，我们内在的心灵必须要保持这样的宁静，是非常重要的。好，安排设定好自己来领受先知性的启示跟策略，来征战在这个季节当中。因此，我们需要能够设的职，能够直接射向仇
because one is very confident in God's support. 一个人的性格有这种宁静的内在，其实内在几乎是没有任何的挣扎摩擦，因为他完全相信上帝的支持。That's right. And so you can see over here, when we are in a tranquil, when we have a tranquil inner spirit, we are able to receive prophetic revelation. 当我们内在的灵是如此的平静，是可以领受到先知性的启示。And when we aim, we know that God is supporting and guiding our arrow. When we aim, we know that God is supporting and guiding our arrow. When we aim, we know that God is supporting and guiding our arrow. When we aim, we know that God is supporting and guiding our arrow. When we aim, we know that God is supporting and guiding our arrow. When we aim, we know that God is supporting and guiding our arrow. When we aim, we know that God is supporting and guiding our arrow. When we aim, we know that God is supporting and guiding our arrow. When we aim, we know that God is supporting and guiding our arrow. That's right. And so we must declare that God will give us new strategies to defeat the enemy and to prosper. 因此，我们需要宣告，上帝要赐给我们全新的策略来打败仇敌，并且兴旺。Amen, amen. So, it, the month of Sagittarius, which is the Archer, is time to fight against empires and culture. So, we need to watch Israel, America, and also any covenant nation. 那我们讲到这个月份是射手座的月份，射手就是射弓箭嘛，这就是时间要跟那些大的帝国跟文化征战的时候，所以这时候我们要留意到以色列啦、美国啦，跟任何这种盟约的国家。That's right, and so this is a month also to war for and from trust and rest. 这个月份是我们需要为信靠和安息来征战的月份。So we need to move ahead with the anointing that we got from Chess One, and allow the Lord to develop new levels of trust and rest in us. 那我们需要带着从上个月马西班月得到的恩膏往前，容许主在我们的里面发展出全新领域的信靠。Do you know in this month of tranquility and peace, even in warfare, we will still have peace. 你知道，就因为这个月份心里面是如此的宁静安详，即使在征战当中，你里头仍然是有平安。Because peace will not just happen, we have to war in order to remain in faith, joy, and thanksgiving. 因为平安不是这样发生的，是我们需要去征战，才真正得着这样子的信心、喜乐和感恩。就 ，I I give you an example. 给大家一个例子啊。Let's say you have a business and your business is going through something very difficult at the moment. 假设你有一个生意，现在这个生意正经历一些艰困。Do you want to remain in tranquility and peace? 你想要维持这样的宁静和平安吗 ？What do you have to do? Maybe you have to fast. You have to、uh, read the promises of God and remind yourself that God is the provider of your business. 你需要做什么？可能你需要进食啊，或者你需要这样祷告，让提醒自己读经祷告，提醒自己上帝的应许是要让你兴旺，他是供应你的主。So the things of the world will try to disturb you and cause chaos in your mind and make you worry. 这世界的东西不断搅扰你，让你的头脑充满了各样的困惑跟担忧。But you see, you have to war in order to remain in faith, joyful, and giving thanks to God. 这时候你就需要征战，才能够保持里面的信心、喜乐，同时将感谢、感恩献给神。And don't go into fear. 千万不要落到恐惧里头了。That's right. And so we need to develop trust and confidence from our abiding place, which is in Jesus. 而我们需要住在耶稣里面，从其中发展出我们的信靠和肯定。So in the midst of the warfare, you have to be on the offensive, so that you have peace in the midst of conflict or in the midst of war. So, 尽管在征战当中，尽你可以去冲，你可以去攻击的，因为你知道你里头在征战里面是有这样的平安。So you need to declare, Lord, in the midst of warfare, I will remain in the state of shalom, and I will continue to abide in you. 因此，你需要宣告说，主啊。
，尽管在征战当中，我仍然保持在 shalom 平安的景堂里面，我要继续住在你里面。Amen, amen. So this is a month. This month is a time to let the river of God flow from your innermost being. 这个月份是让上帝的河水能够流进到你心灵深处的时候。Let me just go to this slide. Yeah, correct. So there is a great relationship between tranquility and fullness. So if we don't relate to our inner being correctly, we cannot enter into fullness. You 要了解啊，这种宁静跟完全，这中间是有非常大的关系。如果我们内心没有办法先调整好，是没有办法真正进入如此的整全的。That means if we keep on worrying and keep on being in fear. We cannot enter into fullness. 换句话说，你一直在担忧，一直在恐惧当中，就没有办法跨进到整全里面。So when your river starts flowing, you can enter into your next measure. 当你的河水开始流动，你就开始可以进入到下一个程度了。So this means that when you begin to trust and rest in the Lord. You begin to become. You begin to have a tranquil inner spirit. When you 能够信靠安息在主的里面，你里头内在的心灵就能够得着这样的宁静。That means you are not worried or anxious about whatever that is happening. 代表不管发生什么事情，你不会这样的担忧，不会这样的焦虑。Even though there are problems, 尽管会有问题。But you trust and rest in the Lord. But you 仍然信靠主，安息在它里面。That is why your river begins to flow, and then you can enter into the next glory. 这是为什么你的河水开始在流动，而且你可以进入到下一步的荣耀里。And the next provision. 还有下一个阶段的供应。That's right. So that is the whole principle of Ezekiel forty-seven. 这正是以西结束四十七章里面完全的一个原则。God will bring that revelation to us when we trust and rest in Him. When we trust and rest in Him, He will reveal it to us. And this revelation is progressive, ankle deep, knee deep, and then swimmable deep. This revelation is ankle deep, knee deep, and then swimmable deep. This revelation is progressive, ankle deep, knee deep, and then swimmable deep. This revelation is progressive, ankle deep, knee deep, and then swimmable deep. This revelation is progressive. 上帝要带着我们顺着这个河水一直下去。Remember, God loves us just just like the way Benjamin is greatly loved. 你别忘记，上帝是这样爱我们，正如便雅悯这样蒙宠爱一般。So you see, we need to process revelation throughout the year this way. 所以我们这一年都是要这样子来处理上帝赐给我们的启示。We have to process each level of revelation by swimming, and then deal with old traumas and issues at each level before you move to the next level. So we handle each level of revelation by swimming, and then deal with old traumas and issues at each level before you move to the next level. So we handle each level of revelation by swimming, and then deal with old traumas and issues at each level before you move to the next level. So we handle each level of revelation by swimming, and then deal with old traumas and issues at each level before you move to the next level. 所以，当我教导完之后呢 ，Sharon 会来，来跟帮助大家做这样的释放。And so, number two, as we journey and allow the rivers of life to flow, we need to review our support system. Whom do we support, and who supports us to help us through to move to the next level? 所以，当我们在整个河水当中，生命的河水流动当中，在旅途往下走的时候，你必须要留意自个儿这个知识系统，支持你在支持的是谁，还有谁在支持你，帮助你能够进到下一个阶段呢 ？That's why in these times, right, you cannot be alone. 所以在这样的时间，你不能够单独而行。You must have a spiritual family. 你必须要有属灵的家庭。And I want to encourage you, for those of you who are watching, if you do not have a spiritual family, I want you to get connected with Zebulon Apostolic Center. So, 所有在观赏的朋友，如果你自己目前还没有任何属灵家庭的话，好不好来跟我们西部人使徒中心联系 ？Because the days are getting dark, and you should not be alone. 因为日子越来越黑暗，你不应该单独独行的。You need to find your support system. 
。你需要找到这样一个支援系统。Amen. Now Kislev is also the month of the wolf, which is the Benjamite anointing. 而祭司流月也是狼的月份，这正是便雅悯的恩高。And so Genesis forty nine verse twenty seven says Benjamin Benjamin is a ravenous wolf. In the morning he shall devour the prey, and at night he shall divide the spoil. 创世纪四十九二十七节说便雅悯是凭贪婪的狼，早晨吞吃猎物，晚上瓜分战利品。So what is the meaning of ravenous? It means number one to violently tear away or remove something from someone, or to snatch against someone's will, or to take away violently, or to seize something. 在这边哈、哦，他那个讲贪婪，跟那个字的英文的意思是残暴。那这个贪婪或残暴，它的意思是什么呢？它是非常暴力的，把它撕裂。或者把一个东西从另外一个东西挪挪走，是很强烈的，一把把是违反人家意志的这样夺走一个东西，或是暴力的去夺取任何东西。That's right. And secondly, the meaning of ravenous is to tear something into pieces. Remember, it says in the morning he shall devour the prey; in the evening he divide the spoil. 那再来这个贪婪残暴的意思，它是非常暴力的，把一些东西给撕裂。你记得我们刚刚读到的早晨，他吞吃猎物，晚上瓜分战利品。That's right. And so why are we talking about wolves in this month of Kislev? 那这样在祭祀六月，我们为什么要讲到狼呢 ？Because it we are talking about the Benjamite anointing. 我们在讲的是便雅悯的恩膏啊。And and the The character that is the the character that is related is wolf, and wolf lives in packs or communities. 而在这个当中，象征的就是狼。狼是群居的动物。They live in flocks or loosely organized communities. 基本上，他们是一起团体行动的。他们在一个非常松散的这样的一个群体当中。When the male and female wolf have chosen their mate. They will stay together. 如果雄狼跟雌狼找到自个儿的伴侣之后呢，他们就会一起居住了。Now this is important for support system. 这个对我们的支持体系非常重要。And so, as a pair, they will find a territory to settle in, and then they will raise their cubs for a couple of years. 那现在他们成了一对儿了嘛？他们就找到自己可以安顿的地区，然后在那儿接下来几年就要养出自个儿的小狼崽。That's right. And then their wolf cubs will stay with the parents until they are old enough to leave home. Usually, by the time they are three years old, and conditions are right for them to start a family or a pack of their own, which signifies maturity. 那通常这些小狼会继续跟他的父母亲、家人一起成长，到他们年纪足够大了，大部分是到他们三岁的时候，或者他们的情况许可，他们就开始自个儿的家庭，或找到自个儿的狼群。这讲的是他们的成熟。嗯、mm, ，very good. And so, what is the key for us to take away from this? 因此，从这个上头，我们可以学习到的关键要是什么呢？ The key emphasis this month is building family, biological, blood relation, and spiritual fellowship and community. This month, emphasizes that we want to build a family, maybe a spiritual family, with blood relation, or maybe a spiritual family, that can build a community and a community. So, like I said earlier on, it is a month to review our support system. Who do we support? And we must reflect upon ourselves first. Am I a good support system for my family, whether it's my blood fam, blood relation family or spiritual family? And am I reflecting Christ through the thoughts, words, actions in my family, my marriage, and my community? 就像我刚刚讲的，这个月份我们应该要来自己审查自己的支持系统。我们在支持谁呢？我们是不是有好好的反省我们自己呢？我是不是一个好的支持系统？对我的家人来说，不管是血亲的家人或是属灵的家人，我有没有在这样的我的思想、我的话语、我的行动，在我的家人、我的婚姻、我的社群当中反映出基督的形象呢 ？That's right. 
So the second thing is, who supports you? Who are your friends? Because 2 Corinthians 13 verse 11 says, Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice. Strive for full restoration. Encourage one another. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the, the God of love and peace will be with you. 而在这里第二点要想的就是谁在支持你呢谁是你的朋友呢因为你记得格林的后书实在那十一节说的最后弟兄姊妹们当喜乐要进入完整的恢复彼此全面一样的心思住在和平里神的爱和平安就随着你That
like the way God imparted uh, uh, understanding heart and also discernment to Solomon. 分赐属灵的恩赐，如同上帝当时对所罗门把这样子分辨的恩赐赏赐给他。And so you need to be mindful of your sleep patterns this month. Ask God to keep you alert to hear His voice even in your daydreams.所以在这个月份，你真的要留意到自己的睡眠模式，跟主求，让你能够很警醒听见他的声音，连你做白日梦的时候都要哦。That's right. And so it is also a month for Hanukkah. 那这个月份有一个节期就是光明节, Hanukkah. And Hanukkah means dedication, consecration, inauguration. It is a feast of dedication or the feast of lights. 那光明节, Hanukkah,它的代表就是奉献, 是代表献祭, 也代表救职, 所以这是一个奉献的节期, 或是光明的节期. That's right. So why do believers celebrate Hanukkah? It's because we have been grafted into the Abrahamic covenant. And so we know that Jesus celebrated Hanukkah in John chapter 10, verse 22 to 23. 而我们在圣经中知道, because we see that he was walking in Solomon's porch in the temple area during the Feast of Dedication. Now, what is, what is the lesson for Hanukkah? You no, know, Hanukkah was about the Maccabean revolt, and then they wanted to, to fight uh, Antichrist. Uh, fall, yeah, because Antigas fall was worshipping idolatry. 那当时呢, 是马加比, so Hanukkah is a story of overcoming in the face of adversary. It is a story of deliverance from Hellenistic mindset and culture. 那在这里光明节庆祝的是怎么样在各样的反对为难当中能够征战得胜，而当时讲到是从这种希腊化的思维和文化当中得拯救出来。So if you are facing adversary, know that you can overcome. 如果你面对各样的困难，你知道你是可以胜过的。That's right. And then number two, you need to stand up for what is right and don't be afraid. 第二，你必须要为正确的事情坚持，不要害怕。Are you in a battle personally or in a battle in your nation? 你个人在面对征战吗？还是你的国家正面对征战呢？ Stand up for what is right. Don't be afraid. 你要为正确的事情站立出来，不要害怕。Just like the Maccabees. 就像马加比那些人一样。And number three, Jesus refers to us as the light of the world empowered by him. So stand firm in the Lord and his ways and don't abandon the altar of God. And when we choose to stand, we will become like the lamb stand and he will light us up with his light. He will multiply our offering and bring hope to us and loved ones along our path. He will multiply our offering and bring hope to us and loved ones along our path. He will multiply so no matter how dark it is outside, a candle of light can be a miracle light. A miracle light can come into your come into your home or come into your nation. 这样的神迹之光可以进到你家中, so you need to, you can also ask the Lord to identify anything that you have been keeping in the dark and allow His light to expose it 
and bring healing to you and others. 同时，你可以求问上帝，是不是点出在你生命中有没有任何东西你一直隐藏在黑暗当中，好不好？让他在揭露这个，带到光明底下，好让他来医治你和其他的人。And are there areas in your life where you have let your guard down? Ask the Lord to give you the zeal and knowledge as He did with the Maccabees. 在你生命当中，是不是有什么东西你忘记去防御了呢？求主赐给你这样的火热和知识，就像他怎么样帮助马加比人一样。That's right, and so this is the summary of um of the month of Kislev. So this is the summary of the month of Kislev. So this is the summary of the month of Kislev. So this is the summary of the month of Kislev. So this is the summary of the month of Kislev. So this is the summary of the month of Kislev. So this is the summary of the month of Kislev. So this is the summary of the month of Kislev. So this is the summary of the month of Kislev. So this is the summary of the month of Kislev. So this is the summary of the month of Kislev. So this is the summary of the month of Kislev. So this is the summary of the month of Kislev. This is the month of Samek, which is full circle. 那这也是 Samek 完整循环的月份。It is the the month for tranquility and peace. 这个月份是平静安宁的月份。It's the month of the tribe of Benjamin. 这也是便雅悯支派的月份。And it is the month of the festival of Hanukkah. Where we must rise up in courage, faith, and then receive miracles. This is also Hanukkah, the Light Month of the Year. We must rise up in courage, faith, and then receive miracles. This is also Hanukkah, the Light Month of the Year. We must rise up in courage, faith, and then receive miracles. This is also Hanukkah, the Light Month of the Year. We must rise up in courage, faith, and then receive miracles. This is also Hanukkah, the Light Month of the Year. We must rise up in courage, faith, and then receive miracles. This is also Hanukkah, the Light Month of the Year. We must rise up in courage, faith, and then receive miracles. This is also Hanukkah, the Light Month of the Year. We must rise up in courage, faith, and then receive miracles. This is also Hanukkah, the Light Month of the Year. We must rise up Uh, that you have received today, let the Lord bring multiplication to it. 不论你今天领受了什么，愿主真的倍增这一切。Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. 感谢主，奉耶稣的名。Amen. Amen. All right. Over to Sharon. 接下来交给 Sharon. Hello, Salom. 大家平安。Okay, are you able to hear me clearly? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, it's great. Let me see my slide. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go into the time of prayer for self deliverance. 那我们现在要进入到祷告，甚至释放的时间。Okay, so our focus is dealing with trust and rest to be properly active in His covenant. 我们的焦点是处理我们信靠和安息的部分，好让我们真正正确的行在他的盟约里。Okay, before I start, I want to just introduce a bit. 祷告之前呢，先稍微跟大家介绍一下。Okay, ah,、uh, the Lord says that in order to complete trust,、uh, we are in complete rest. 要能够完全的。安息必须要有完全的信靠。It's also the same vice versa. 反过来也是这样的。Okay. Ah,、uh, the Lord gives me a dream. 上帝赐我们梦。The Lord don't give me a dream. One one year I have less than five dreams. 那我领受主里面给我一个梦的，通常很少，我一年大概领受五个梦吧。啊、uh, ，less than five dream. 不到五个梦，一梦啦。Ah,、uh, in this dream, the Lord said we need to deal with fragmented spirit, soul, and body. 在这个异梦当中，主说我们需要去处理是那些破碎的灵魂体。A lot of us divide our spirit like this: one spirit, soul, and body like this divided. 那有的时候我们的魂灵魂体是这样分开来的。We always think it as like different things. So when we go to work, we focus on our what we need to do. We are very focused on what we need to do, and then we want to、uh, make sure that we are using our intellect, our soul very well. 那在这里，我们常常把它们分开来想，好像哦，这个时候专注就是灵东西，而我在思考啦，在魂的部分呢，就没有办法好好处理了。And then when we go to church, then we are spiritual. Wow, we are very spirit. We want to feel the Lord. 哇，当教会的时候就是非常属灵的东西，完全在灵的部分，但那要来感受到上帝。But in this dream, the Lord shows that Holy Spirit dwell in our spirit. 
。可是在这个异梦当中，圣经让我看见圣灵要充满我的灵。And what the Lord wants us to do is our spirit, soul, and body must move into a highway. That means they are whole in one, and with Holy Spirit as the source, power source. 那在这里就让我看见，上帝希望我们的灵魂体一起往着这样的大街上走，而代表完全这个力量的源头是来自圣灵，是三者合而为一的。So in this ah、uh, self deliverance prayer, how we gonna pray is that every one of you must pray in audible voice. 那在这样子一个释放的祷告当中，应该怎么样祷告呢？每一个人应该要开口放声来祷告。The kingdom of God is voice operated. 你要了解上帝的国是经由这样声来传递的。Voice activated. 是声音来启动的。So you must pray, and then at the same time, not too loud, so that you can listen to my instruction and follow my speech. 那你要开口祷告，可是也不要太大声哦。同时间，你能够听到我的声音，来按照这样的速度来做。Okay. So I will also discern the atmosphere, and as I pray, I will use the words "I." 那我在这个当中，我要去分辨整个的空中的氛氛围。所以当我在祷告的时候呢，我也必须要这样看。I I will use the words I if I distance some of you got this issue I will use the words I so if 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 this you right you say amen, but when we are going into the self deliverance time we are presenting our self individual to the Lord. 那在这个过程当中，如果我分辨任何东西，分辨出来我就会说 I 这个字。那如果是你的话呢，你就说 Amen。那再来，我会做这种魂的这种释放，然后我们同样也用用这样的过程来做。Okay, we are going to the ah、uh, prayer now. I will not go through the prayer, but we will go straight into the prayer because of our limited time. 因为时间有限，我们就直接进到祷告的服饰里了。Okay, Father God, I come under your wings. 天父，我来到你翅膀的印下。In your secure embrace, in your love, 进入到你安全的拥抱，进入到你的爱中。In your presence now, lead me in this healing and self deliverance session. Engage my mind and emotion to this word here as I present myself openly before you. 在你的同在里面，主要带领我在这个医治还有自我释放的过程里面，让我的意念，让我的情绪完全经由这些话语，当我将自己全然敞开在你的面前呈现给你。Give me understanding about myself. 帮助我了解我自己。Ah,、uh, put your hand on your brain and on your heart also. 可以把你的手按在你的头上，或是按在你的心上。Let me recognize mindset. 让我认清自己的意念 Thought pattern. 思想模式 Chains of thoughts. 这些思想的连接 Automat automat emotion. 自动化的情绪 Auto respond. 自然的反应 Character attitude habit. 性格态度习惯 All that I have, which are carnal and repelling to your covenant for me, let me see and understand myself. 我这所有的一切是属血气的，完全违背你给我的盟约，让我能够看见更了解我自己。Let me see, Lord. 主要帮助我看见。Father, let me see where mistrust and broken promise have taken grip of me. Which have supported my ability to trust and be at rest with people. 主要帮助我看见哪里有不信任，因过去那些没有成就的誓约而真正绝住了我，掩埋了我有能力再去信靠，而不能够在别人里面得着安息。Ah,、uh, I feel awkward when I meet new people. 当我碰到新的朋友，我会觉得非常尴尬。I cannot be at rest. 没有办法真正的安息。When I cannot, I don't have the ability to rest with believer in Christ. 而我没有办法得到在基督里面这样的安息的释放。When I'm in, when I'm with the believer of Christ, I feel that I'm inadequate. 
。当我跟基督的信徒在一起相处，我觉得自己非常无能。I don't trust Christian businessmen. 我也不信任这些基督徒的生意人。Oh, Lord, who, ah,、uh, Lord, who mistrust has broken with my family. 主要甚至跟我的家人当中有这样的不信任。And Lord, when I face hardship, I don't have full trust with you. 主要当我面对困难，对你没有完全的信靠。Let me see, O Lord God, how how ah、uh, situation have let me not be able to trust fully. 主要帮助我看见到底是什么样的情况，让我没有办法完全的来信靠你。Let me recognize trauma that imprint and empower my emotion and mind. Trauma and experience which block me to flow as one with your kingdom mindset, which block me from functioning and embracing my God-given kingdom identity. 主要让我能够认清过去有哪一些深印在我心中的创伤，影响到我的情绪、我的意念，而这些创伤经验拦阻我。不能够在你的国度思维当中，能够在同样的水流里思想，所以哪些锁住了我，没有办法有正常的运作，拥抱上帝赐给我在天国里的身份。Trauma that made me doubt my gift. 那些创伤让我怀疑自个儿的恩赐。Trauma that doesn't ah、uh, make me not recognize how to function in your kingdom in your church. 这样的创伤让我没有办法去认清怎么样在你的教会、在你的国度当中运作。Review to me what I need to remove and change. 写明给我我什么需要挪去、什么需要改变的。Bring me back to memory that you want me to deal with in this prayer session. Pray open memory box in me that you want me to look into. Let the memory be resurfaced. 主要求你要我处理的东西，把这样的记忆再次让我想起。在这次祷告的过程当中，所有这记忆的盒子全然打开。主要求你亲自来处理。Lord God, bring back childhood memory trauma. 主要求你帮助我们想起过去童年的创伤。Trauma of mistrust. 不被信任的创伤。Unbroken promises by parents, 父母亲没有守住的承诺 betrayal by sibling, 兄弟姐妹的背叛 dysfunction family, 失衡的家庭 attacked and stolen my identity, 影响到偷走了我的身份 pain, fear, anger, and memory of regrets for trusting the wrong person or self guilt and self condemnation. 痛苦、恐惧、愤怒，有一些后悔的记忆，因为我信任了错误的人，我有自我的亏欠，有自我的谴责。Lord God, I have memory that made me tremble about my decision. That it took the part away for me to make right decision. 主要有这样的记忆，让我想要做决定的时候就会颤抖、恐惧，夺走了我能够自己做决决定的一个部分。Memory of past shame that caused me to block my identity. 过去羞辱的记忆让我拦阻认清自己身份的能力。Childhood lifestyle that take away my joy. 童年的一些生活形态夺走了我的喜乐。Or healing process because of chronic chronic sickness. A long process of healing that caused me trauma to believe in covenant promise that I will completely heal. 而因为长期这样医治的过程，让我怀疑我真的有能力得着你的医治，真的相信你的应许必要成就。Father Lord, heal that part of my life in that memory. Heal my trauma. Heal my fear, my regrets, and disappointment. 天父上帝，求你医治我生命当中那样的记忆，医治过去的创伤，医治我的恐惧、懊悔和失望。Heal my shame. 医治过去的羞辱。Heal my grief. 
Give me ability to trust again. I release this trauma to you, Father. Uh, open up your hand and release it. How about I release it all, Lord. I choose to forgive everyone that caused trauma in me. I choose to let go. I choose to forgive myself also. In this moment, I suddenly feel a very heavy weight. Um, I can feel that there are trauma in people that you need time to deal with. I want to encourage you after this session, look for your leaders to deal deep and then uproot and pull up mistrust and fear in you. Forgive me, Lord. Okay, just now we forgive others. Now we want to ask the Lord to forgive us, huh? Forgive me, Lord, for every displeasing ways in me. Reveal to me any impure part in me, wrong motive, wrong mindset, emotional trigger, fear trigger, anger trigger, hurt trigger, lock emotion, faulty assumption. 主啊，有里面有任何不讨您喜悦的，求主你来赦免。向我显明。我里面有没有任何不清洁的部分，错误的动机、错误的思维、情绪上面的这种触发，可能是恐惧、愤怒、伤害，或是封闭的情绪，或是有错误的假设。Lord, release your bulldozer right now to pull and pull and uh destroy every trigger. 主要求你亲自来拆毁，来除掉里面任何情绪方面会触发的动机。I see some people in your brain got a lot of like one one row of button. It's like in the in the field, but in the big land, and then got a lot of button. So the Lord said, you have big trigger. People have something you certainly trigger up. So the Lord want to release the bulldozer into that land. Actually, it represents your home, and then also it represents your bloodline issue. 那在这里我看到有人特别在头脑的这个部分，好像一长排的，全部都像那样开关一样，就很多东西稍微一触动你就爆发了，稍微震动。所以主在这里要完全清楚这个，因为这个东西可能是来自你的家庭，可能是来自
10 verse 5 to 6, I cast down arguments and every high thing that exalt itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity in the obedience of Christ and being ready to punish all disobedience when my own obedience is fulfilled. 现在我来宣告哥林的后书十章五到六节说，将各样的计谋、各样拦阻人、认识神的那些自高之事一概攻破了，又将人所有的心意夺回，使他都顺服基督，并且未经预备好了，等你们十分顺服的时候，要责罚
I want to know, I, I, I declare I shall receive clarity of who I am. 我宣告我能够领受到清晰的意识，知道自己是谁. Of my unique gifting and how to function in this season. 在这个季节当中，我有独特的恩赐，怎么样来运作这样的恩赐? Amen. Amen. I receive revelation. Amen. 我领受这样的启示. Amen. I declare I have confidence my spirit, soul, and body is actively partnering with God's covenant promise for me, my family, body of Christ, and nation. 我宣告我有足够的肯定自信，在我的灵魂体是一起起积极的与上帝他盟约的应许相合作，为了我、我的家庭、基督的身体和我的国家。I declare limitation of past season be lifted. I shall move in greater understanding and move with, move with God actively in His covenant in this season. 我宣告过去所有的局限限制全部都要打碎。我能够在这个新的季节里面，带着全新的自信，在上帝里头来运作。I declare I receive strategy, revelation, and tenacity to push and advance until I receive the fullness God has portioned for me, my family, body of Christ, and nation. 我宣告我可以领受策略。启示和有这样的韧性来推动并前进，直到上帝成就他所应许我、我的家人在基督的身体里以及国家所应得的份。Give me greater hunger to do your works, Lord. Greater hunger to know your heart for this season. 主啊，赐给我更大的渴慕来阅读上帝的话语，赐给我更大的渴慕在这个季节当中了解你的心意。Give me hunger, Lord God, to partner with you in this season. 主要赐我渴慕在这样的季节中与你一起同工。Lord Jesus, release me. 主耶稣差派我。Into this season of five seven at two as a new, uh, with a new mindset to operate with new, new understanding in this season. 主要在五七八二年这个新的季节当中，有全新的思维、全新的理解，在这季节中运行。Thank you, Lord. We pray all this in Jesus Messiah name. Amen. 感谢主，我奉耶稣名义赛亚之名来祷告。Amen. Okay. So I trust that you are blessed by this session. To continue to pray, if you know that you have issues. Of a mistrust of broken covenant, and that you cannot rest, you cannot rest with certain people around you. You continue to deal with it. God bless you. 我相信这样祷告的时间真的让大家蒙受到福分。那如果你里面还有一些更深的这些对人没有办法信任，或是没有办法得到安息的问题，可能你需要在更多的祷告在上面更加。我相信主必会在这上面来帮助你释放你的。I also believe that the Lord will bring you, will root you greater in His faith in this season. 我相信主也会保守你在这个当中更深的扎根在主他的应许当中。Okay, now I pass the time to Apostle Frederick. 那现在把时间交给Frederick使徒。Thank you, Sharon, for leading us in this deliverance prayer. 谢谢Sharon带领我们做这样释放的祷告。Due to time limitation, I will not do the communion, but I suggest you do it at home. 那因为时间的限制，我们实在没有时间再领圣餐了。鼓励大家自己在家里面领圣餐。So I would like to end our international kids' left first fruit celebration. 现在我们要结束这个国际鸡丝流月的月朔庆祝。Hope you are blessed by tonight's session, and please do not forget to give your first fruit offering to the Lord. 那希望大家在今晚的庆祝当中蒙福，也不要忘记把你出手果子的奉献要献上给主。Make sure you remark Zebulun in your giving so that we know that the giving is for Zebulun。千万不要忘记在奉献上面要注明是给希伯伦的，这样子的奉献我们就会转到希伯伦那里。So I'd like to give thanks to Zebulun for hosting this celebration together with Apostolic Ecclesia Builders。感谢希伯伦给我们机会来主办这场聚会。Give thanks to you, Lulu, for translating to Chinese. 谢谢露露来为我们翻译成中文。
and also give thanks to other translators in other breakout rooms. And also, very importantly, give thanks to all of you who are watching live right here, right now. I know it is late. Thank you for watching. Without you, we have we won't have this live celebration. 很重要的是，所有在线上观赏的朋友要感谢你们，因为没有你们的话，我们不可能来主办这样的聚会欢庆的。So God bless and good night. If uh, there's any remark, last closing remark from Zebulon. 谢谢大家，祝大家晚安。那最后，香港。